one of the other things we needed to do you need to do is you need to measure these pistons and again this may be something that the machine shop does for you the piston itself we need to take a micrometer and the piston manufacturer will tell you where to mic this where on the skirt and just below the center of the skirt is what this piston manufacturer is saying and you need to measure the piston on the skirts perpendicular or opposite of the piston ring this is the only part of the piston that's clearance to the bore once we get that measured then we're gonna we're gonna lock our mic at the piston side much like we did with the crankshaft when we measured it we're gonna lock our mic so this is our piston size we've actually duplicated the size of the piston here so the piston has to move in the bore therefore it has to be smaller than the bore so if you take a, a rag you can gently place your mic into the vise and again here's our dial bore gauge and we've got the end set for our bore size in the, in the range of our bore and we just want to take and use our mic as a calibration tool or a master again to zero out our indicator because we want to know what the clearance is between the piston and the cylinder bore and and this is going to do that for us so we're going to get our mic our, our bore gauge centered right on that mic and once we get that steady and in there then we take a look at our our, our dial gauge and we can set that on zero and now we have a reference point for our cylinder bore so I'm setting that on zero there and we'll give you another shot of that I'll run that right up to the zero so now what I've done is I've zeroed out this gauge right at my uh, bore size we'll take it out of the mic and then we can take it over to the engine block and we can start looking at our cylinder so if I put this in the cylinder since this is set for the piston size I should see the difference on my dial and we have about three and a half thousandths here clearance which is about normal for a a uh, piston a cast piston of this this type so if you look close here we got about three and a half thousandths there clearance so that's really good that's kind of what we wanted to see but that that's what this is a measurement that's called piston to cylinder wall clearance and it's pretty important that this is done